President Biden is getting some high marks from Americans on both job performance and the way he's been handling the pandemic. A new poll found that he has a 60% overall job approval and that 70% say he's doing a good job dealing with the pandemic. That number includes 44% of Republicans. While President Biden has answered questions during some of his events, he has yet to hold a full news conference. Face the Nation host Margaret Brennan joins us tonight from Washington. Margaret, always good to see you. Uh, that is expected to change, this idea of him having a news conference. That's right. White House spokesperson Jen Psaki promised that there would be one sometime this month uh, where the president takes questions from reporters. Uh, but he hasn't really done that in a direct way uh, since he was sworn in on, on January 20th. Um, but, you know, we, we will see. I think the expectations of communication from the White House have been changed radically during the Trump administration and the Biden team is uh, becoming more deliberate and structured and predictable in their communications. All right, and Margaret, today the CDC released a new report that shows how mask use, the CDC says, directly connects to a decline in COVID cases. But several states we know have eliminated their mask mandates, Texas among them. What is the national reaction to this? You know, there are now 17 states uh, who either never had a mask mandate or have peeled back the ones that were in place. And the reaction from health officials is why do that now, given that infections, while they're on the decline, have not declined substantially enough to remove the risk. And so this is a tool, as you just indicated, that the CDC says is actually quite effective in minimizing spread. Uh, due to aerosol spray of the virus. So while you have governors who are lifting restrictions on businesses, that some have kept the mask mandate in place so that they can uh, minimize spread of the virus. Others are going full bore. Florida, for example, never allowed for a state mandate for mask wearing. Um, and if you look at their numbers, they do have a, a high infection rate. Uh, but that is something that at the state level, they have decided to stomach. Uh, even though some mayors have objected to it. The mayor of Miami, notably uh, a Republican on our program, said he would really like to be able to put in place in crowded cities like his um, a mask mandate. Hmm. All right, Margaret Brennan, thank you so much. Joining us on a Friday night as always, and you can watch Margaret on Face the Nation Sunday morning at 1030 right here on Channel 4.